Hi friends, welcome to Tableau Tip channel. In this video, I will explain how to create a map chart when you have latitude and longitude in two different columns. So I'm going to download the data. So to if you want to practice, you can download data from this site. So in this data we have city field, latitude, longitude and then sales. Let me load this data into Tableau. So once you have loaded into Tableau, if you can see latitude and longitude fields are identified as string fields because there is one degree symbol present uh, in this uh, in this field at the end so that's why those fields are recognized as a uh, string fields so we need to convert it as a measure so to convert it as a measure you can just right click and then uh, change the data type to first you need to change the data type to number decimal so it's when you directly convert it as a uh, measure it's the values are not recognized because there is a symbol present in the text so that's why we have to write a different calculation here so for that let me go back right click and uh, create a calculated field sorry right click create calculated field so I'm going to name this calculation as latitude LAT. Now we'll use split function to remove the symbol. So let me explain the split function syntax. So split function returns a substring from a string as determined by the delimiter extracting the characters from the beginning or the end of the string. So based on the delimiter that you provide here, so it will split that it will return the substring of the data okay for example we want to split based on this degree symbol so i'm going to copy the that symbol using aliases so just click here and then copy so we are saying this symbol as the delimiter you need to since it is a text you need to keep in a single quotes and then we want the first part of the calculation so that's why i'm keeping one and then close click ok let me drag this calculation and see the output ok now you can see um, the symbol is uh, removed from the calculation output okay, similarly do the same thing for longitude right click and duplicate edit so rename the calculation as longitude or just long so longitude Okay, now we have uh, removed the symbol from the text now we have to convert this one as a um, number decimal okay for that you can use float function right click edit then just append float so that now it is recognized as a number now right click and then assign the geographical role latitude similarly for longitude also right click go to geographical role select longitude okay now that we have latitude and longitude we have to drag latitude to the rows and the longitude to the columns okay now the latitude and longitude marks are displayed on the map by default without selecting the map so those are uh, by default since it is latitude longitude geographical role the map chart is readily present here so make sure you keep rows uh, sorry latitude in the row shelf and longitude in the column shelf if you try to switch you will not see the map 
okay we'll see just the uh, just a normal chart okay so you have to keep latitude in the row shelf and the longitude in the column shelf okay now uh, we will uh, drag city name to the text or detail okay now if you hover you can see the city names as well on the tool tip we will remove latitude and longitude just keep city so we can read the city name now okay now we will uh, apply measure based on the size of the sale sale value we will show the bubble size okay for that drag sales to the size can increase the size so i'm have changed the mark type to circle so that the val bubble size is based on the value you can also drag this one to the color so like this we can easily identify from which city the sales is higher and somewhere the sales are less okay i hope this tutorial is helpful to you if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel Thank you for watching.